Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions coming at you here with a Gotham City Imposters gameplay commentary. I don't know exactly what map I am, what map I am on. Uh, it's a, some kind of fish market uh, thing going on. Uh, I think it I don't know exactly, because here's the thing about uh, about Gotham City Imposters. Each map is directly from the Batman lore, the Batman universe, and it has something to do uh, with with the the comic series or or the video game series. Like uh, one of the maps is on Amusement Mile, which is uh, which is Joker's hangout uh, or one of Joker's hangouts. The uh, the fish market here, if I remember correctly, is usually having to do with Marconi. Or, uh, or one of the crime families in the uh, in the Batman universe. So uh, I think this has something to do with that, but I'm not exactly sure. But I want to tell you guys something, and, and I know I did uh, in my first video about uh, Gotham City Imposters. I talked about how you know the game was a, the game was a lot of fun. It's really arcadey, and it really really is arcadey. And the the color from everything from the color scheme to the weapon loadouts uh, to the to the banter among characters, uh, the little the funny one liners that you will hear. Uh, your your player characters shout uh, from time to time whether after you kill somebody uh, after you kill somebody it's really cool you don't get to see a kill cam uh, it's very much like Battlefield where you get to see what they're doing after after they kill you uh, but the funny part is is that in Gotham City Imposters you hear them usually make a little one liner comment and then you can even uh, alter the voice at a high enough level once you get to a high enough high enough level in the game uh, you can change your voice and then alter it uh, so it's you know it sounds high pitched low pitched slow whatever so it's really arcadey and i know that I, in my first video i talked about how it, it is an arcade shooter and it really is fun it, uh, arcade shooters are a great way and i'm talking here self-aware arcade shooters because call of duty is a is an arcade shooter but it's not self-aware it tries to play it straight laced uh, but i think everybody and even the series would be better off if it kind of embraced that that arcade shooter mantra but this is a game that very much says you know what we know we're an arcadey shooter we're not going to take ourselves too seriously and I love that aspect about the game but one of the things that I really didn't like about it and maybe it was just a small sample size but really I've been playing this game a good amount more and it hasn't really gotten better and that's the choppiness the the game is really choppy again I don't know if it's it's uh, if, if it's a performance issue uh, with the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 I'm assuming that uh, that would what or or if it's uh, an internet connection problem you know hosts uh, finding good hosts and matchmaking and things like that I'm assuming that you are more likely to find people with crappy internet playing this game because it is an arcade uh, available on the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation uh, Network and PlayStation Marketplace or whatever it's called, and it's only like 15 bucks, and so you know more people are going to be able to buy it that that couldn't otherwise afford full priced games, and those people are even more likely to have crappy internet uh, that doesn't uh, that doesn't split up very well. And it's the the choppiness is kind of degrading to me because I, I think this really could be a really, really fun game. Whether you want to take it really seriously or if you just want to screw around, it could be a whole lot of fun. And it, and it really is. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say it's a piece of crap because of the choppiness. But it's just it's that, that choppiness there kind of keeps it from becoming... Uh, something even better, you know what I mean? It's like it's it's good now. Don't get me wrong. Again, I, I and I'm gonna get to recommending it in a bit, but it could be so much more. It could be it could be almost perfect if it didn't have that choppy aspect. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it does. I think I tried to to make that make sense. Um, I don't know if it exactly does. It it could be so much more. I guess is what I'm trying what I'm trying to say. If it was just if the matchmaking was a little bit better, or if the uh, if the game kind of i don't know compensated for the lag or uh, or whatever or maybe if it i think it may be a performance issue um again because it's it's across all different hosts across all different game modes uh for me so i don't know if other people out there have experienced it but that being said i want to fully recommend this game this game is a lot of fun. Now, I can only imagine what it's like to play on PC. If you're not running into these problems on PC, I can only imagine exactly, or I can only imagine how much fun it could be without these problems. And even with these problems on console, I, I, I fully recommend it uh, to everybody out there. I recommend you go pick it up. If you got an extra 15 bucks lying around uh, or $20, you got to go out and get yourself a uh, Microsoft Point gift card or however PlayStation Network does their stuff. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed 
enjoyed. Again, go ahead. If you've got the money lying around, I encourage you to go pick up this game. Gotham City Imposters for console. It is on your respective uh, provide or console marketplace right now you can go it's a it's about 15 bucks so i uh, i i highly suggest picking it up it could be a great time uh for you it's a it's really some arcadey fun but anyway guys i gotta get out of here thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed i am out